Everybody, welcome back to my channel. This should be the last video where I prepare the Kyosho Phaser Mark II for track racing. If you want to see the brushless system install, changing out the aluminum drive shaft, or replacing the old servo, I will put a link right here to the whole playlist. As you can see, today we're going to be replacing the dampers as well as the wheels. These are the Ya Racing cutest big board dampers. And this set of wheels is the Gravity RC USGT Pre-Glued GT Wheels Black. Okay, let's get started by installing the dampers. The set that came with the car is actually not too bad. It's plastic bodied, but it has aluminum cap. It is oil filled, uh, and it's adjustable with spacers. So you do have some tunability with these stock dampers. As you can see, this set is fastened with a screw at top and bottom, but the ones that we're gonna be installing are Ballstead types. But if you remember, these came in the box, so I'm gonna replace the screws with those, then we'll snap the dampers right on. First, let me take off the old ones. And now all I have to do is to replace those with the ball studs. Okay. All right. And all I have to do is snap them on. Let's check something. All right. Let's do the front. I'm going to need to take off the foam bumper. So, let me do that first. I'm going to take off these two screws. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's change out the wheels. Normally I would pull this out and then screw the wheel nut, but Kyosho uses a button head screw instead. And this is a 2.5 millimeter button head. And before I put them on, I want to show you something. The Kyosho stock wheels are actually just a little bit bigger than the Gravity RC. I want to say it's about one millimeter top and bottom. So I think the height difference is going to be around two millimeters. All right, let's also pay attention to the tread. I want those to be facing forward. So this one, for example, would be on the other side. This one on that side as well. And this one we're gonna put in the rear. And to make my life easier, I'm just gonna label these. Front, right, I don't know if you can see that.
Okay, and there we go. I don't know if you can tell, but the two millimeters and the tires make a big difference. It definitely lowered the ride height. And to be honest, it looks a little bit off. But these are the only tires allowed in the USGT class, so I'm just going to roll with it. And there's only one way to tell if this is going to be better or worse than before. I'm going to be making a track run video very soon. So subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification so you don't miss the next video. If you got anything out of it, drop this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next video.